What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're on our Town Hall 12 but we're going to be working on an attack strategy. It seems like I get a lot of requests for this attack strategy right here. The hybrid attack. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a queen walk that utilizes hogs and miners to clean up the rest of the base. And you can kind of see we got a little bit of an interesting army. I just grabbed my sneaky goblins because I've got a fun idea. So we're going to try to work on and use the hybrid attack here today to get some three stars and wards. I'm going to attack the top two 12s with my town hall 12 and we'll see if we can get some three stars. We'll break down the plans, hopefully teach you guys something because that's always my goal is to help you guys learn and get more educated about attacks like that so straight simple straight to the point guys we're gonna learn hybrid today so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave a like on this video if you guys want to see me try hybrid at like 11 and stuff like that definitely let me know down there in the comments and speaking of comments let's go ahead and go with today's comment keyword of the day of hybrid throw that down there in the comments i'll try to go through and heart a bunch of you guys and then really quickly let's go ahead and shout out a few of you guys from the last video not yesterday the last video because i didn't upload yesterday no good to take a day off i'll tell you but I was also going crazy like, oh, I need to upload, oh my goodness. I did upload on the second channel, though, if you guys want to go check out the second channel where I play Raid Shadow Legends. I do like that game. I know, weird. Who would who would like that game? It's crazy. So, we'll talk about the army here momentarily because it's a little bit of an unconventional hybrid army. But let's take a look at the first base we're hitting. So, like I said, we're going to hit the top two 12s. We're going to hit 10 and 11. We're going to start with base number 10 right here. And... As you guys saw there, we had a lot of sneaky gobs. And the reason we have a lot of sneaky gobs in here is because of this, this clan castle right here. It is exposed, and we should be able to get it out with a few sneaky gobs. I brought six to be safe, but we're just going to dive out the sneaky gobs without triggering the clan castle. And then that thing will be gone. We don't have to worry about the clan castle. It'll also help set our funnel towards the town hall for our queen walk and then i'm going to try to save one sneaky gob to put here and then we're going to put a baby drag like here and then we are going to work our queen walk up in this way and then into the base right through there now i will still have a poison which i'll utilize on that enemy queen and then hopefully we get all this out get the town hall out get all that out and then what we're going to do is we're going to run in uh we're going to run our king right up through this way I'm actually going to run the siege barracks right in here so that the P.E.K.K.A. and stuff clears out all of this. And then we will run our hogs miners through this top side. And then the siege barracks hogs will come in towards the inferno on the back end. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't know. It might be a little bit much. We'll see how this goes, guys. I'm worried about the queen walk, but it all makes sense. So ideally what we're trying to do is we're trying to eliminate as much of this section of the base with the queen right through here. And then our king's just going to clear out some of this stuff through here. And this is going to give us a nice little path of uh, funnel through the rest of the base for our hybrid portion. And we're really going to go heavy like through this portion and let those siege barracks hogs worry about that inferno. So that's that's what we're doing, guys. The army's ready. I'm ready to hit. Let's just do it. Uh, if it fails, well, then uh, you guys will probably never see this. I'm just kidding. If it fails, we'll talk about why it failed. Uh, so like I said, we got... a ton of sneaky gob what i actually have one regular gob from when i from before i grabbed those we got the wall breakers to break in and i went with 15 miners and 11 hogs we're actually gonna have 19 total hogs i don't know how i feel about this but we'll see we'll talk about the variations of this because on the next attack we're going to use a yeti bomb rather than the hogs and the siege barracks i'm not sure i still ugh, i'm still not sure how i feel about this but let's hit it oh my goodness i hit a tag all right so what we need to do first is get this out. All right, so perfect. Those guys will get that all out right there. We can throw that in. Nice. We could actually throw that in right there. We actually trigger a giant bomb. And then I'm going to go balloon right here, baby drag right there, just to clear that out. And then we're going to go ahead and start our queen walking down this way. Now I'm going to put our healers in. What's going to look like kind of awkwardly here. Oh, no, enemy queen. Went to the healers. I was hoping she would lock onto our queen first. I tried to put them right out of range of the uh, warden, which it looks like we did a decent job of. Now I went with three rages just to make sure we walk through here nicely, but I also want to make sure that as we're getting through this section, we can actually wall break in here. Oh my goodness, maybe wall break in here. Oh, giant bomb! Oh my goodness, the giant bomb. Okay, actually we get in there. We're fine. Nice, perfect. So what I'm going to do now, since that's all good, is I'm going to throw in the Siege Barracks, and I don't actually care if that Multi-Mortar hits it. 
and takes a little bit of the life off there. That's actually going to be fine. All right, our queen is uh, stuck in the tornado and on the enemy king. We're going to throw our king right in here. I'm going to go ahead and throw in a couple wizards right there. And then we are going to go, like I said, heavy right into this bottom portion here with our miners, our warden, hit our king's ability. And then we're going to go ahead and get our hogs working right in there. We'll throw the balloon in because why not? Let's go ahead and hit this warden ability while we have as much stuff in there as possible. We'll go ahead and hit a heal through here. Freeze there. All right, nice. That's working through. Let's rage in here. All right, we are working. What did our... Did we not have... What? Oh, our, our clay castle hogs went up top, guys. Oh, my goodness. I didn't pay attention, and I lost track of everything. I lost the clan castle hogs, and I, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, my goodness. That mortar might cost... Or that might cost us. I got distracted. I got distracted, guys. All right, hold on. We're still fine. But I got distracted looking for the clan castle hogs because they never came into the location I was looking for. All right, miners, get out of the range of the multi. All right. Oh, my goodness. That slip-up of the heal spell is going to cost me, guys. The slip-up of the heal spell is going to cost me the three-star. All right, hold on. They're going to go for the... They're going to go. They're going to go. They're going to get this. Go, miners. Go, miners. Go, miners. Go, miners. Oh, they're so close. All right, hold on. Let's see if we can distract this... Archer Tower. Oh, she's so low. Oh, no, the 98. Oh, I lost track of the Clay Castle Hogs, and that's why we failed. Oh, I needed a spotter on this one. That's what I really needed. All right, so let's watch that. That should have been a three-star. I can't believe I just messed that up. Oh, my goodness. So I was expecting the Clan Castle Hogs to come up to this area, but I guess they probably went down here. That's where I needed a spotter, someone on voice chat with me. Oh my goodness, that should have been three star, guys. Unbelievable. Because I was looking for the Clan Castle Hogs and I should have had a heal down, but instead I was distracted. Ugh, that's tough. Not trying to make up excuses, but that's 100% what happened there. Disappointing, because we should have definitely had the three star. That should have 100% been a three star, and I can't believe I just did that. Oh my goodness, I could have probably even saved the poison for the king here on the back end to help the queen survive a little bit. Uh, okay, so I just want to watch this. Yeah, I could have definitely saved the poison for the king on the back end. The queen did not wall break her in there. Okay, that, so, yeah, we didn't get those defenses down. I thought there was a wall break there. Oh, my bad. My bad. Yeah, so if I would have had the poison on the king, that could have helped out a little bit. All right, let's slow down here. Okay, so the hogs, yeah, the hogs are just going to pass through here. But you could tell, like, I was looking for the clay and castle hogs. Like, the execution was great there. But I thought that we wall broke in there, but I guess the giant bomb got those out before. It looked like they got through, but I guess uh, they didn't. So I lost track of everything right here. I was looking for the clan castle hogs, and I needed to get that last heal spell in right up here before I let everything die, or else we could have had the three star. Oh, that's, that's my bad, guys. That is my bad. Late on the heal spell. I'm gonna still, uh, we'll still throw this video out because I feel like that should have been tripled. That was just a mistake on my part. Oh, that is, that is heartbreaking, guys. That is heartbreaking because look how low that archer tower was. Like, we were so close to still three-starring. I was trying to distract it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, there's like no health on that. How did that thing stay up? Unbelievable, I can't believe I messed that one up for you guys, but uh, let's take a look at this next base. Let's see what we got planned here. Uh, so there was a scout on it from Kylo. Man, I'm so sad. I'm so sad about that. Uh, but there was a scout on it from Kylo. Again, heal when you're supposed to heal. Don't go looking for clan castle hogs. Have someone on voice with you to spot. So we know that there's a witch in here. And then I think there's going to be like an ice golem balloon. He didn't get the full pool because he went with air. But I think there's going to be ice golem balloon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a few balloons to take out this cannon. Uh, I think, actually, let's see if the Tesla's are here. He went with the E-drags. But let's see if the Tesla's, yeah. So normally the Tesla's are right there on this base. All right, so we know where the Tesla's are. So we don't have to guess where the Teslas are. So the Teslas are there. So I'm going to bring a lot of balloons to take out those Teslas. And then uh, we're going to run our queen walk down. That's kind of a bad line. Like kind of through here and up this way. I'm actually going to use some sneaky gobs to take out that elixir storage. And then I'm actually going to Yeti bomb and support the queen walk right in here. 
if I can get the Yeti bomb in this core compartment with all these bows, that would be great. I'm hoping by the time everything's, you know, firing and stuff, we have a little bit of distraction so that the Yeti bomb can make it in there. So what we'll do is we'll try to walk out all of this area with the queen walk and the Yeti bomb, and then we will send our king right up through here. What we do with the king is just to set the funnel, and then hopefully at that point we have all of this stuff over here taken out, done. We have these few buildings taken out, and we have a nice path for our hybrid right up the middle of the base here, and then we'll have to warden ability on the town hall compartment. So that's the plan for this base. We'll see if I can execute, guys. I'm a little bit more nervous about this one, especially since we're leaving the two back-end infernos up. A little bit more nervous about this one, but we'll see how it goes. I don't use hybrid a ton. It's time to learn. All right, guys, so we got the plan ready. We talked about that already. We're going to queen walk in here and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but the army comp, like I said, we're going heavy on the loons because I want to make sure I get through the Teslas and I want to make sure I pull as many seeking air mines as possible. We're going 16 miners, 12 hogs, four sneaky goblins in here. I like the sneaky gobs a ton for attacks like this. So let's just hit it. Let's see if we can make it happen. You know what I forgot to do on the last attack was power potion because my sneaky gobs aren't maxed out. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Uh, we'll just hit it without the power potion since, I mean, we already kind of ruined that experience. Uh, so, let's see. We're expecting Teslas here and here. Let's throw in a few balloons. All right. There's one seeking air mine. There's that all right in there. And then let's see if we can get through here as much as possible. Okay. We didn't really get that far. I want to go like that. Go ahead and get our queen walking through here. All right, so we got that all down. Queen's gonna have to get an early raid just because of that warden pedestal. Uh, she's actually might have to get her ability used. That's okay. Let's go ahead and run that all through there. Let's poison the clan castle troops. It looks like a double witch ice golem here. Let's go ahead and rage her up. Just to make sure she's working here. Again, we're trying to get to the bows here because the queen should be able to get the town hall or the eagle down rather. And the bows, we need to get the bows down just to add a little bit of support here for the queen because she's going through it. And we might actually have to change our plans. Let's see. All right, uh, queen. All right, nope. Queen's going back around the way I want her to. All right, perfect. We'll go there. Get the king in there. Perfect. Nice. All right. King's gonna come up through that way. Let's go ahead and get all of our miners in. Let them work momentarily. Uh, let's go ahead and freeze stuff over here. Try to get our queen staying alive. All right, queen goes down, but that's okay. The warden will be able to do warden things. All right, so we'll get through here with our hogs. Ooh, hopefully we can get through this town hall. Let's go ahead and throw our first heal. Let's see, that queen did not get a lot out over there. All right, Town Hall is gonna do weird things here, huh? All right, we're gonna freeze there. All right, let's go ahead and hit our Warden there since we have a few things like kind of stuck near the Town Hall and all of that kind of stuff. Ugh, this is ugly, guys. This is ugly. Those miners are taking a beating due to the skeletons that were right there. More skeletons are gonna pull over. All right, we get through there, but those skeletons pull the mi keep the miners up. We got a king walk going at this point. Uh, we'll get a little cleanup in here. Yeah, we're gonna fizzle out short here. Hmm. All right, let's see if we could have done something differently to fix that. Maybe our pathing was just bad. Maybe I should have went in the top side with the inferno. I don't know. I don't know that what I could have really done differently here, to be honest. All right. But, you know, this is why we learn and work on things. We practice. We try to get better. I still can't believe I messed up that first attack. We do have a few miners going through here, but it is going to time out. It's not going to be enough. All right, so let's watch this one back and see what happened. What went sideways on this attack? See if we can kind of identify that. I think I could have done better keeping the queen alive, to be honest. I think I could have froze and stuff and kept her up. And I didn't do a good job keeping her up, and I think that was a problem. But we get an 84% two-star. We do improve it, but, I mean, if we're cleaning, we need to clean for the three-star. They might be a little bit sad about that, but that's okay. All right, let's take a look here. Let's pull up the Telestrator, and let's see. All right, so we'll take a look. We'll take a look here, guys. And this is, you know, it's all part of the process. We got to learn. We got to work on things. I thought that, I knew the first plan was decent. I thought that was a good plan. 
But I want to try to see if I can identify what went wrong here. So we got all the seeking. I mean, the blimp made it as far as we want. I hesitated a little bit here. That was okay. We need to get the queen in. I kind of put her right in the warden range. It didn't look like she was in the warden range, though. Look at that. He's outside that warden range, but he is still hitting her because her head's, like, overlapping. All right, that's fine. She has to pop early. We could have probably froze the queen and cannon here, to be honest. That's probably where we should have used our first freeze, was on the queen and cannon, so we keep her ability through the back end here. That's I think that's mistake number one. We should have froze there. Second free Our second rage comes in. I think the second rage was pretty necessary just to make sure she stays up. Uh, but we could have froze the bows there with our second freeze to kind of help her out as well. So I think I think the issue here was the lack of use of freezes kind of hurt myself. So I think if we use our freezes better rather than holding them, that's something we can improve on. But it's a learning experience, guys. We got to work on getting better with these attacks. And you know, it's it's really easy to show off three stars and throw show off three star replays. But learning and experiencing and getting better, I think you learn more from that personally. That freeze should never be, like by that point we should have been out of our two freezes. And then, like, we didn't really give our hybrid portion a, a chance. I needed the king to path up. Maybe I could have brought one more uh, goblin just to help the funnel out there. So we didn't really give ourselves a chance there. Uh, we should have went one for two here. I can't believe that one. But that's all right, guys. It's a learning experience. We're learning on the hybrid. We're going to work on the hybrid. And uh, we'll, we'll get them again next time. We'll keep working at this. We'll keep practice on it until we get six packs with the hybrid. Hopefully, you guys did learn a little bit something today, even though we didn't get any three stars. I feel like there was still some valuable information in there. You guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to use your free spells. And don't forget to keep on Clash Bashing. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any future uploads of mine. And if you did happen to miss yesterday's video, you can check it out right over there.